I'm sure you are aware that there are plenty of malicious sites trying to take advantage of the interest on COVID-19 to fool people. Well, Josh Morin has been kind enough to create a list of those sites and I'm going to show you how you can easily uh, equip your curator to alert you when those things uh, happen. We will be also doing a video for those of you who follow the PSN series that we created with Curator C at home. We're going to show you how you add this to your uh, PFSense for detecting at home that as well in a separate video. So if you go to the admin console, first uh, it's important to locate what rules do you have that works with uh, malicious URL. So as you see, I put here a search on malware URL and I have two rules. This one which I downloaded from the App Exchange. Basically, when it gets any URL field from DNS servers or for Q and I, uh, it's going to compare it against this uh, malware URL reference set. If it's in there, you get an offense firing. Now, to add that, you can either use the nice and new reference data management app or uh, this is actually simple enough. If you go to reference set management and if you look for that URL for that uh, name of the reference set you find it in here. As you see I already added them. Uh, okay so how do you put that in here? All you need to do is click import and make it point to a file that contains such list and I had that list in here. I'm not going to import it again because I already have it there. Now, where do you get that list? Well, in the video description, I put two links. One is uh, Josh Morin's site, which you can download that directly. And another one is the, I hope that you are already aware of the box, public box folder that I keep where I put this data. I'm going to put that in there as well. By following these simple steps, you will have a rule that will fire should you get any URL coming uh, into your curator system and that URL is included on that list.